as I've been more and more in ministry, I've been asking God, would you please help me with emotional intelligence? Emotional intelligence is really, it's a biblical thing. It is when before I open my mouth, I try to understand things from your perspective uh, so that I may be able to lead you or guide you based upon how you understand things or think. And Nathan is a master. In fact, I was reading this the other day. The name of the book is actually Emotional Intelligence 2.0. Emotional Intelligence 2.0. And the gentleman says, not education, not experience, not knowledge or intellectual horsepower. None of these is an adequate predictor as to why one person succeeds and another doesn't. There is something else going on that society doesn't seem to account for. We see examples of this every day in our workplace, our homes, our churches, our schools, and our neighborhoods. We observe supposedly brilliant and well-educated people struggle, while others with few observed skills or attributes flourish. And we ask ourselves why. The answer almost always has to do with this concept called emotional intelligence. And while it's harder to identify and measure than IQ or experience, and certainly difficult to capture on a resume, its power cannot be denied. You know, the first time I, I heard this thing called emotional intelligence, but they didn't call it emotional intelligence, is I remember when I was in my 20s, somebody gave me a book, How to Win Friends and Influence People by Dale Carnegie. I don't know how many of y'all read that book or not. But he has a chapter that says, first seek to understand before being understood. First seek to understand before you seek to be understood. It's the same thing. It's emotional intelligence in a shell. It's what Jesus says, consider others more important than yourself. It's about trying to see things from the other person's perspective, even if they're wrong, so that you can use their own words and their own emotions to help them move beyond where they're stuck at. And Nathan comes in and he understands that the king... <laughs> does not want to be viewed as ignorant. The king does not want to seem as if he has betrayed his loyal friends. And so Nathan comes in with the perfect plan. 